Interest rates are low. Big surprise. <laughs> Ten-year treasury was like around one point. Uh, what is it? One point one three or something. I mean, it was it below one point two. Yeah. And that you know that usually follows the thirty-year and mm -hmm. rates are low. Uh, it's funny though. Your uh, mortgage applications are down eighteen percent from last month. A lot of that. A lot of that has to do with. Uh, lack of inventory for purchase money loans. However, uh, applications specifically for refinance were also down. Well, and also, you know, last week we were on with um, uh, the guys from the, uh, what is it? The Note School. Note School. Yeah. And, Joe Barnard. You know, Joe, yeah, thank you. Um, the, like, the available credit index, like, like what you have to bring and show as a borrower is higher than it has been in quite some time. Yeah, it, it's hard to qualify, to qualify for, for, for for those really low rates, mm -hmm. and, and that's usually what happens when it gets to to the point where it's almost free money. Yeah, you have to be, and we like to use this old bank adage: "Oh, I can't give you a loan. You actually need the money." <laughs> you actually, yeah, exactly. And I love if that. If you didn't need the money, then we'd be happy to lend it to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. But they're only doing these really low interest rate loans to the very best customers yeah, or the best borrowers. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, fortunately we have the non-qualified loans that people can get into, yep. uh, but then you're not going to get nearly the savings and you're probably already at a, a low interest rate when it comes to refinance. If you have to have cash out, that might be a good opportunity for you. Correct. If it, uh, you know, if it still fits within your, um, whatever it was you were looking to do, uh, it could be a really good alternative for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what else is breaking news? We had uh, dropping first time in unemployment. It continues to drop the last three weeks in a row. It's been dropping. So that's good. Excellent. Uh, what's really concerning are the uh, consumer price index and the... Um, They're going down, right? Uh, no. <laughs> And the, um, what's the other one? Uh, it's the, the wholesale folks, um, the uh, producers. So it's, yeah, it's the producer's price index. Mm -hmm. So consumer price index was actually only up 0.1% uh, okay. from last month. Okay. It's still up 6% overall from the year, year before. Year to year. Yeah. The producer price index you know, was expected to go up about, uh, I think it was 0.7%, but it went up uh, six. <laughs> so it was way off expectations. It went up six is what yeah, you said? Yeah. Oh my gosh. When you take out the the core inflation or the, the core, which is energy and food, mm -hmm. it was pretty low. Okay. But guess what? We all still have to pay for energy and food. We can't get around that. No. So, uh, you know, your your inflation numbers are, are going through the roof. We're, we're at 7 8%. Some argue higher. Yeah. And, and some of it's slowing down. Uh, lumber prices have plummeted from when we were... Last. Still still up from last year, yeah. but plummeted from the high from, from about four were. months ago. <laughs> when we were complaining about it, Okay, they have plummeted from the the time that I bought wood <laughs> till now when I don't need it. That's typically the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. And just anecdotally, by the way, everything is high. I bought three three foot one inch diameter uh, pipes that were uh, galvanized. Mm -hmm. I bought three arms. You know the where you turn them. Okay. I don't know what the heck you call them, the arm. And then I bought uh, three one inch pieces of pipe. They call it a nipple. Can you say that on here? Yeah, but it's only one inch. And then it goes into the plate. It's called a floor plate that's bolted into whatever flat plate, plate, place you need to put it. Those, those items. And again, three. Yeah. One inch. 36 inch and then the arms and the plates, $115. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's something I would have expected not to pay more than $50 or if I'm 
Man. Anyway, it, it's ridiculous how so, much everything costs. Everything costs more. Inflation yeah. is up. When we get back to why people are putting all their money into the stock market mm -hmm. is because, again, if you're in the bond market and you're only making 1%, yeah. 2%, you're not outpacing any level of inflation. And by the way, I'm going to get to why the bond market is still doing so well <laughs> later on in the show. You know, <sighs> bond Con market's a safe, well, a con contradiction, safe place to be, I suppose. Safe it yeah. depends on where your money was and where it's coming from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 